Ladies and gentlemen, we are back with some more FNAF 8 or special delivery. We gotta beat this yellow bear right here. I bought just a few more tokens and I am so god dang close to getting his suit, but I've heard rumors that if you beat him, you get the suit anyways. I don't know if that's true or not, but I'm gonna hold off and see if it is. Um, oh boy, this is going to... This is gonna be difficult. I've I've done some research. I've been linked a few tutorial videos, and I've seen some other videos on Golden Freddy, and he's tough. Okay, he's very tough. Basically, he has like three different main stages. He has blower, uh, blower CPU, mango CPU, and then some of the toy animatronic CPU. Wh whether that's uh, Toy Freddy, Toy Bonnie, or Toy Chica. It seems like he'll just switch between whichever one he feels like being at the time. So, Belora, CPU, kind of not that bad. Then again, I am kind of confused about the the difference between Mangle and Belora, because I was watching Daco play it, and it seems like he was collecting the Golden Footy parts that fell on the ground, like the hat, the microphone, uh, limbs, <laughs> his decapitated head, all that stuff, um, while he was doing Belora. So... I, I don't really know the f fully the difference between Belora and Mangle CPU because you both, like, you collect parts there. I guess you just can't move fast around and you got the minute. I don't know. Um, and then for the toy characters, you have the mask and you have the, the shocker. So Toy Freddy, he'll drain your battery. Toy Bonnie, um, you put on the mask. And if his eyes are red, you look away. If the eyes are white, stare at him. Same thing with Toy Freddy, except his eyes will never turn red. And then Toy Chica, it's um, kind of the same thing as Toy Freddy, where if... His eyes are white, you look at him. Um, his eyes won't turn red for Toy Chica, and he won't drain the battery for Toy Chica. It's a lot. If you don't know your mechanics of FNAF AR characters, you're gonna struggle a lot. So, how many lures do I have? Um, none. Cool. Yeah, well, that's why I bought some. I'm gonna start off with just three, because I... I don't really want to spend more money than I have to. I've already spent, like, 50 bucks on Golden Freddy, so boys, please, smash the like. If you're new, subscribe. It helps me out a lot. Anyways, um, let's just hop into it. I've been gone for the game for a little bit, so I'm, I might be a bit rusty with him. So, let's just, let's give it a go. I also can't promise I'll beat it in this video. I really, really want to, but this is going to be the last video I do on Golden Freddy. I'm only going to do a maximum of two. I also got to talk about lower sign significance, uh, prices, lows, all that stuff. But I'll talk about that at the very end. So, here we go. So we're starting off with Blower. I can see my battery now, so that's good. That was an issue last time. I couldn't see it. Okay. He's up that way. He's gonna head up this way. Let's wait a bit um, for him to drop some ports. The Minuinas uh, should appear on your screen as well. Just shake them off. They're really not that bad to deal with. There we go. There's a port. Where, did, where it is? I have no clue. There it is. Too fast there, too fast. I, I was more focused on getting the port than I was trying to be slow. God damn it. Um, <laughs> this is gonna be tough. This is gonna be one tough cookie, boys. <laughs> oh boy. All right, let's go again. This may take a bit. Um, but at maximum, I'm only gonna buy a total of six lures. Again, I don't want to go crazy with this guy. I just wanna. Okay, so starting off with a toy animatronic. Who is it? I've also been told not to use the flashlight a whole lot. I don't know why. Oh no, it's just someone different. Is it Mangle? It might be Mangle. Let's try this. I really don't... Ugh! God damn it. So it... Does he always start off with the CPU that he starts off with in the fight? I don't know. He's so complex. He doesn't make a whole lot of sense. God, I've already used three already. Jesus. This is this is another scenario where I wish Illumix would just give us emails, you know? When they used to give out emails about what the characters did. It's like right now, I'm guessing he's starting off with Mangle? I don't know. And like, there was not enough time, if he haywires, to go into the menu, press the mask button, and then put on the mask. Yep, okay, it is Mangle, it is Mangle. Uh, it's right over there. That's the microphone. Oh my god, you're effing kidding me! No way, dude! So, 
So Mango does do that, but don't you have to put on the mask? Like Mango does haywire, but they only do it. Like, don't you have a mask with Mango? I don't. I don't fucking know. This guy's gonna be a pain in the butt, dude. I'm just gonna use them all. <laughs> I'll put on two on the map so we can just hop back into another game. Okay, starting off with Blower, and he's already about to attack me. That's fun. Let's get away. Go that way. Maybe stay away from that area then. I give him an arena. Shake them off. He's somewhere. Oh, I see another Minorina, but they're just kind of stuck on my screen. Oh, something fell. No clue where it is, though. Why would I know where it is? Oh, I see it. Oh, I see it. Got it? It's a foot. Got his arm. You have to shock him three times as well. I think he's only dropped off two uh, pieces. Come on, drop. Okay, where? Uh, I'm not gonna go over there. Where? Here? Okay. There we go. Alright, it's a new CPU. Which one? I have no clue. Oh, it's still blower? No way. Wait, no. It can't be. Mangle? Uh, I'm playing the thing. Mm. It can't be Blower because the meters weren't going up. It must be Mangle. It is Mangle. Okay, where, 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 where? God damn it, god damn it. Oh, I saw it. I saw it. It's Mangle. Don't understand. That was Mangle CPU, because it had the, the the timer. When Mangle charges at you, you have to put on the mask and stare at them. But I don't have a mask. Do you, there's no way they expect you to switch to the mask and put it on. Right? Illumin. If that's the case, then that's kind of. I don't know, man. Uh, also, I don't know if he can do multiple like CPUs at the same time, like in a row. Right, you defeat him in Blower, then he can do Blower again. I don't know. It's such a weird character. Alright, let's go. Starting off with the Blower. Correct? Maybe. I saw the bar go up, but now it's just not. Must be Mangle. Because if you're looking at him, the static's right here. If I'm looking at him with Blower CPU, the lower meter should be all the way up, but it's not. Yeah, it's gotta be Mangle. Oh, hell. Oh, sorry. Got him! Shocked him once! What are you using now? Blower? Must be Mangle again. Oh, it's Toy Freddy! He's using Toy Freddy, okay. Now, Toy Freddy will not have red eyes. Got him! Second time. Blow up. Not blow up. Who are you using? I don't even know what CPU he was using. Oh, but I got him. I'm happy about that. Let's go. Okay. Oh my god. I don't even know. <laughs> okay. I, I didn't get his suit, but that's fine because I still have one more lure. I'm so goddamn happy about that. He's tough. Um, he's tough just because he's fast. And also, if, if you don't know like, specific details about certain CPUs, like, for example, the blower meter. Like, everyone knows if you, when you have the blower CPU, the, the bar goes up, 
you know, if you're moving too much, but if you don't know that if you're looking straight at the static, that blower's meter should be all the way up, and that's not happening, you know, you can you can get kind of debated with that. So you you really got to know your um your mechanics for this one. Like same thing with Toy Freddy. Um, if you don't know what the flashing lights mean, if you don't know what that sound means, you you're, you're kind of screwed because then your power is just gonna go down. You know, it's it's tough. It's very tough. But it's it's definitely not unbeatable as we have just found out. My. Oh my, all right, I have one more. Let's see if we can do it. Uh, if we can't, I'm just gonna buy some profile pictures because I don't have an, oh, maybe I'll wait. Cause the event is going on for quite a long time actually. So maybe I'll wait and see if I can um, get them in like an, another video because apparently there's still yet another skin to be released, which I didn't know was gonna be a thing. So let's see if I can get it then. But this is our final fight with him. Seems like we're starting off with Mangle. Gonna double check. Oh no, it's Blower! It's Blower! Yep, 100% Blower. So you gotta be... You gotta be on your toes. Oh god, go away. You you really gotta be on your toes with this guy. Oh, go away. He dropped a poet. Boom, right there. He might be one of my favorites. I'm not gonna lie. I like, I like the, the intensity of it. Oh, hell. <laughs> oh, we dropped another one. It's not over there. Moving kind of fast, slow down. Oh. Also, with Blower, it's it's important to uh, to take your time. Oh, it's on. Get out of here. Moving kind of fast, so I'm gonna slow it down. It's not going to be up that way, because I was, like, just there. Uh, but he's out that way. Which is the way I kind of need to go. Okay, another one fell. Oh, I'm pushing it. Got it. There he goes. Boom. Next one. Who's going to be? Who's going to be? Uh, blow again. Maybe not. Nope. Must be Mangle. Maybe not. I don't know. I think it might be Mangle, but I'm gonna play it safe. Oh, hell. I can't see what this goddamn thing is. Oh, where are you? Look away! Oh, god damn it. So it seems like this is a uh, toy Bonnie. Benefits of having a uh, swirly chair. Whoa! Ah! Now wait a goddamn second. <laughs> I, don't know. I swear his eyes were red, uh, so I looked away, but I guess not. Cool. Um, is that is that all of my lures? I think I think that might be. Uh, yes it is. Okay, so now I actually want to talk about the uh, the character itself because for some reason, um, this has kind of been kind of a, a controversial character, which I don't know why. Now I get it. I'm I'm supposed to be the guy that's like oh. FNAF AR sucks, Illumix, I hate you. Now keep in mind, I do sometimes feel that way. Um, but in the case like this, I don't really see why people are so upset about it. I do think one of the, the stupidest things that they did was they didn't give people some lows at the start of the event, you know? Like, if you want to fight him, you have to buy some lows, which is 1.5 thousand fast tokens. Like, that's quite a lot, you know? Uh, normally, they're only like 700. Uh, sometimes 800 max. So that's definitely a thing that I wish they did differently. You know, especially with a community character like this. Some people say the character should be free. I kind of disagree. <laughs> um, but definitely because it was a community event, I think people should have gotten like 
three lows, max, you know, like 100% Fui at the start of the event, give people a couple lows just to play around with the character, you know, he's a hard character. So if you mess up, if you waste a lower, that sucks because not only does it cost a lot, but also it's gonna be tough to fight this guy and tough to beat him. Other things I wanted to talk about was the camo mode. I kind of said everything I wanted to say about it in my last video on this. Um, on this update was, I think it's a good start, but definitely, definitely needs some work. I think posing, spinning them around would be nice, maybe even like some preset locations, you know, put them in the Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, put them in the sister location bunker, I think that'd be cool to see. Um, and also the prices, right? People are freaking out that Golden Freddy and his CPU are 6.5 thousand Faz, uh, not Faz tokens, my, my apologies, um, Winter Wonderland currencies, whatever the heck they're called, the, the tokens, right? People are upset that they cost so much, but to that I say, I, I, we all knew it was gonna be expensive, like, even in one of my earlier episodes, I was like, I should probably be grinding, because I know it's gonna be hella expensive, because that's what Illumix is like. And here we are, and I think someone calculated it out, it was like a hundred to purchase everything from him. And you gotta keep in mind, for like a couple of weeks now, like three weeks I think it's been, you know, Illumix have been saying you really want to be collecting these tokens so you can purchase um, some rewards. And even if you can't get Golden Freddy, there's some profile icons, which I think is a great addition to people who didn't really do a whole lot of grinding. Now yes, you can purchase the tokens, but for like three weeks, they gave you a heads up saying, hey, you want to grind out these tokens, keep collecting them even even when the meter is full. So I'm not sure why people are freaking out about him being expensive because one, come on, it's a Lumix, you should have seen that coming. And two, they gave you like a three weeks heads up to collect as many tokens as you can. And they're super easy to get by completing challenges, by defeating characters, by popping balloons, by watching, uh, can you get them from watching ads? I actually don't know. And even still, there's a way to purchase them. And not only can you purchase them, you also get like fast coins along with them. So I think people are kind of overreacting about that. Also the Golden Freddy himself, I think is an interesting character. Not only the model, but also the mechanic and the animations. The model, of course, retextured Freddy. We all saw that coming because that's really what Golden Freddy is. To be fair, I definitely do think they could have done a better job with him, mainly the eyes, the teeth, um, overall just the, te the texture of them. But then again, that is the FNAF AR signature texture. It's all like plasticky and polishy. They did that with the FNAF 1 gang who was supposed to be fur and fabric. They did it with him, which again, it's, their, it's the FNAF AR style of doing the animatronics, so you can't really blame them. Um, the animations of him having, you know, having him stand up, I think, was a bit weird at first, but now that I see it, I'm like, okay, well, it doesn't look that bad. Though his workshop animation, they definitely could have done better. I don't know why he's whipping and nay-naying, <laughs> but, you know, I feel like having him slouch down, and then, like, you know, teleport back up, teleport down, tilt the head a bit, shake it, um, I think that would have been cooler than whatever the heck he's doing here with the with the whip. Also, people are freaking out that they released him at the, the time that they released him, and to that I say, like, come on. Of all the things to complain about, you say, oh, you released him on a Sunday. That's probably the best time that they could release him, is on a weekend day, you know, rather than Thursday, late in the day. To be fair, I was not expecting him to come out today. I think if they posted about it yesterday saying, hey, the new character is coming out tomorrow, be prepared, I think that would have been better than just dropping the update and saying, it's here, hopefully you were prepared because it's here, no warning about it. Um, but to be fair, I think people were definitely, definitely 100% overreacting that it came out on a Sunday. Like, come on. Plus we get another skin on Thursday, I believe? Like, come on. You know, it's a bonus character anyways, they said they were going to release him as fast as possible, which led to some bugs, which I definitely do think they should have looked into before releasing the update, but what can you do? You know what, I just got done doing the outro and I was like, you know what, there's one thing I forgot to talk about and that's the lower significance of Golden Freddy being in FNAF AOR. I think, again, that's another thing that people were over reacting about, I get it, the lore, the precious FNAF lore, but at the same time, you know, even though Special Delivery is tied into the main games, it's still technically a spin-off game. And I get it, people are gonna freak out, oh, but it talks about Security Breach, it talks about, you know, FNAF Arrow, and I get it, I know it's linked to the main games, I'm not dumb. But at the same time, and forgive me if my knowledge of FNAF AR's lore is completely off, 
honestly, I don't care about this game's lore all that much. But like, aren't these characters like scanned photocopies of the, uh, the, what are, what are they called? The hard drives, not the hard drives, the discs. What are they called? The boards, the circuit boards. That's what I'm looking for. Of like, the, the, the characters. So yes, even though Golden Freddy definitely should be torturing William in purgatory slash hell slash his coma slash whatever the hell it is at this point, you also got to keep in mind he's in FNAF VR as well, you know? Like, he basically has a presence everywhere in Ultimate Custom Night, in FNAF VR, and now in FNAF AR. Though, in FNAF AR, he does actually appear as himself instead of just having his It's Me catchphrase in, in Help Wanted. So, maybe Help Wanted was alluding to the fact that he's coming back, I don't know. It is a bit weird that we have, like, two of the biggest characters in the lore coming back. You know, it was William Afton with Glitchtrap in the, the Princess Quest minigame, and now it's Golden Freddy, <laughs> Golden Freddy, um, coming back to FNAF AR and now possibly Security Breach. But, I'm not confirming that, I'm not saying that he is coming to Security Breach, I'm just saying, since he's here, in the game that happens just slightly before security breach he could be in it now i know a lot of people are going to be upset oh you're just you're not taking into consideration the lore god the lore honestly i like people freak out about the lore so goddamn much and they are upset that golden freddy one of the most important and most recognizable characters in fnaf history is in a game about bringing the characters back um, in a game in a completely new way. Oh my gosh, is this Johnny Blocks complimenting FNAF AR, saying it's bringing back old characters and introducing them to a new audience in a new, fresh, and cool way? Yes, it is. Alright, deal with it. I think having Golden Freddy here probably does mess up the lore. Not gonna lie, it probably does mess it up. But you gotta admit, it's pretty pog champ. Yeah, I'm not gonna get too into it because I can already see the the lore debates in the comments. Oh, it messed up the franchise. How could they do this? Oh, a Lumix should be fired because they messed up with the lore. Who freaking cares, dude? It's a video game. I get it. The lore. The FNAF lore. They messed it up. How could they? Just chill out, okay? Just chill out and enjoy the game. Enjoy the update. And I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye. Gregory, be still. I think she's found us. <laughs>